beauties! Uh, today I'm doing a Corvina's makeup look and she's from the new Monster High movie, Pretty Fusion. So I've got this lime green glitter on the lid, a neon pink shadow in the crease and purple along the lower lash line. And I've also created this fun design that Corvina's has underneath and alongside her eyes. So usually I take inspiration from the characters when I'm doing a makeup look. So I take inspiration from their clothes, their hair and their style in general. But I really love the makeup that Corvinus is wearing so I decided to do that. Uh, I hope you like it and let's get started. I'm starting off by applying the Urban Decay Primer Potion to prevent the eyeshadows from creasing. Then to make the eyeshadows puff, I'm using a white base and this is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I want a sharp line at the outer corner of the eye, so I'm placing a piece of tape there. To cut my crease, I'll be using this pink shadow from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I'm starting at the center of the eye, right above my natural crease, and I'm bringing the color out toward the tape. Then I'm going from the inner part of the eye and connecting it with the center. I'm using an angled brush to carefully start bringing this pink upward. Then I'm blending that out with a fluffy pencil brush. Here I'm packing on a little bit more of the pink. Then finally I'm blending the crease out with a big fluffy blending brush. For my brow bone highlight, I'll be using Walk of Shame from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. All over the lid, I'll be using this lime green shade from the Urban Decay Electric palette. And I love this palette because all the shadows are so pigmented and soft and I haven't experienced a lot of fallout, so I'm really really impressed. As my inner corner highlight, I'm as usual using Sugar Pills Matte White called Taco. Along the lower lash line, I'm going to use another shadow from the electric palette, it's the purple one called Urban. Next, I'm lining my eyes with the L'Oreal Super Liner in Carbon Gloss. All over the lid, I'm now going to apply this glitter by Pixie Dust Cosmetics in Fresh Lime. First, I'm using the Violet Voss Glitter Adhesive. Then I'm applying the glitter on top of that. I'm using a tiny nail art brush to apply the glitter precisely along the cut crease and the liner. I'm using NYX Milk to start drawing round, triangular and square shapes underneath the eyes. I'm placing them randomly at the side of my eye and I'm drawing both smaller and bigger shapes.
to set that, I'll be using this beautiful neon pink pigment by Sugar Pill called Love Bus. I'm filling in my waterline with Inglot Black Gel Liner in number 77 and I'm setting it with Sugar Pills Black Eyeshadow called Bulletproof. Now I'm applying the Maybelline 1x1 One One Mascara. For false lashes, I'll be using these fun purple ones by Sugar Pill called Angel Baby. Here you can see the completed eye makeup. Okay, so to contour, I'm going to use the NARS Laguna Bronzer. The blush that I'm going to use is this gorgeous pink by Makeup Geek called Love Affair. Next, I'll be applying this highlight by The Balm called Cindy Luminizer. On my lips, I'm first going to apply Max Candy Yum Yum. On top, I'm going to apply this lip gloss by Buxong called Naomi. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and as always, I'll link to the entire Monster High series down in the description bar. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!